This, this is 620 WDAE. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Sports Radio. Who's banged up? Who's in the training room? It's time for the Dr. Locks Sports Injury Report. In pain, why operate when you can rejuvenate? DrLocks.com. Yeah, time for the injury report. We welcome in right now Dr. Dennis Locks. Good morning, Doctor. How you doing? Good, Rick. How are you guys today? We're doing really well, and uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, a, a big injury yesterday in the National Football League, Carolina Panthers wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin. He's going to miss the season after suffering a torn ACL in his left knee. Uh, take us through uh, what, how, how, what kind of injury that is, Doc, and, uh, and why does it keep somebody out for uh, an entire season? Well, you know, we, we chatted about another player uh, in particular last week, and uh, – um, it's a it's a devastating injury for football. Uh, <clears throat> the recovery is long, and the ACL is a a very big stabilizer in the knee. Uh, and anybody that's in running sports, uh, you really need that stability. Um, it, it's a very difficult injury to recover. Uh, the surgery is uh, lengthy and painful. We are getting now to where surgical procedures are getting faster and faster, and we're seeing a lot of athletes come come back uh, quickly. Um, uh, the use of regenerative applications for PRP and the stem cells is starting to speed up the recovery. So we're seeing lots of athletes come back sooner, uh, but it's still a very, very significant injury in that <clears throat> a lot of uh, tissue is injured, and the more tissue that's injured, uh, you end up with a, uh, no matter if you have a perfect surgery with a cadaver or a patellar tendon ligament, the underlying microstructure is never perfect. So uh, the, the scientific basis is that that joint's never the same. It, it slowly degenerates even with the best surgery. So that's why you get a lot of decreased performance in some of these athletes, and then some never return because they, they continue to have a swollen joint, and it, it just propels it down the uh, arthritic pathway. And the, the more times you hurt this, obviously, the, the, the worse you are. Uh, that'll definitely be tough for the wide receiver. Uh, let's talk about another ligament in the knee, Dr. Locks, and that is uh, DeMar Dotson, who's an offensive tackle for the Bucks, has what's called, uh, what we're being told is a sprained MCL, medial collateral ligament. Um, we haven't gotten an, an exact timetable. I guess it depends on the severity. Uh, but why would this not be as, as, uh, as devastating as, say, an ACL? Well, the medial collateral uh, is sort of synonymous to just spraining your, your ankle. Uh, uh, the medial collateral connects the, the thigh bone or the femur to the tibia or the shin bone, and it's on the outside. So it can be supported with, with braces and metal hinges to, to support it, and uh, it, it has the ability to get a little extra help with, with our pads and, and our orthotics and, and wrapping to help mm -hmm. do it. Uh, the, the ACL tends to be... Um, involved in any cutting maneuvers, and it's just a, little, a lot more complicated, and and the re recovery is, is so much longer. This can be usually managed without surgery, uh, whereas high athletes who are going to need to cut, receivers, uh, those who are going to jump, right. the leap can be affected. The MCL is, is, is more like having a, a sprained ankle, and it typically can resolve on its own if you rest it and treat it conservatively. So mm -hmm. it's not as, as significant of an injury. We're talking with Dr. Dennis Locks, our weekly injury report. And uh, speaking of knees, another one, uh, uh, Louis Delmas, who's a wide receiver with the Dolphins. He, uh, second time in nine months that he tore his uh, ACL. And uh, can you, can you, is a guy more susceptible to uh, once he tears it once or tearing it again? And is the recovery longer the second time around? Yes. And, um, uh, that was an unfortunate practice. A bunch of people banged up their knees on these different sides of the field. Um, <clears throat> his problem, yes, he, he, he had a spectacular recovery uh, uh, last season. He came back very fast. Again, the newer surgical techniques and using regenerative therapies can he 
can he- speed the healing process. But once you tear it again, and <clears throat> the ACL is a very big stabilizer for stopping, starting, planting, and in, and in running sports, <clears throat> you got to go in and, and redo the whole thing over again. That's more trauma. Every time you traumatize a, no- a, 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 a joint, especially a knee like that, <clears throat> you're setting up, again, this whole accelerated degenerative process, um, and some people just don't bounce back from that because their knee is never the same. Uh, he's got a problem in that, yes, it's his second one. It's going to be more extensive, more trauma. Uh, he's going to be older. He's going to have uh, um, free agency. So there's just a lot more issues with him, and, and it's so much harder to try to repair the tissues a second time. You have to start all over. But the important thing for that I look at is, you know, <clears throat> what you're really doing on the inside of the joint, even if you can perfectly reattach Mm -hmm. that ligament uh, surgically, the rest of the joint isn't always perfect. So uh, a lot of times these are never quite the same, especially the more times you traumatize it. Um, You just set up a a, a pattern where this joint is is becoming uh, accelerated along a worn out joint or an arthritic joint pathway. So even at a young man, uh, he's gonna be, he's 20, he's gonna be 29. It, it, it could be a real pivotal point in his career. Thank you, Dr. Locks. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you. This injury report was brought to you by Dr. Locks of Sports and Regenerative Medicine. Want more info? Visit drlocks.com. In pain, why operate when you can rejuvenate drlocks.com. But I say Lewis Thomas played 